I grew up in Hawaii. It's, it's really an awesome place. I'm glad I got that opportunity. Being surrounded by the ocean, there's so much to do here which revolves around the water. You wouldn't think it'd be such a great place to go skateboarding. But there's definitely a city in here with a lot of good spots, a lot of obscure spots. And there, there's a skate scene, but it's pretty small and laid back. When people think of Hawaii, they don't think about skateboarding. They envision Waikiki, white sand beaches, you know, laying out and getting a tan. It's also the birthplace of surfing, so a lot of people come here to experience that and check out the big waves on the North Shore or try to learn how to surf. The beach culture has a lot to offer. Surfing in Hawaii is so big, most people have tried skateboarding. I always run into somebody who has a skate story to tell. You try skating now? Yeah. Well, I can't even, like, I don't know, ollie. Sometimes I get it down, but it just doesn't feel fucky. I can't barely, I can ollie, but not, like, all the time hit it perfect. Yeah. Like, every time. Like, if I want to ollie up a curve, boop, bang, nothing. <laughs> but it's like, boop, sometimes, oh, oh, yeah, I got him. Then I try to go up the next one, boom, I catch the bass because I don't pop him in. <laughs> Like pop it and slide this shit up and whoop. Yeah. Can I? It's even sick though. <laughs> I was just chilling what? over there. Were, were we working or just going to school or what? Yeah, I got a job at a skate park. What? Yeah. Oh, it's like you're skating, so lucky. Like getting paid to like skate a mini ramp all day long. Out on the coast, where the 
California girls are ready the most. But I walk and I walk, felt the twist and I twist, felt the shimmy and I shimmy, felt fly and I fly. Well, they're out there having fun in that warm California sun. Russell moved out here a few years ago. I just remember him as this little skate rat growing up in Kailua, trying to learn kickflips, you know, all the way up a curb. So when I came out and met up with him in San Diego, it was sick to see how good he'd gotten. It. It's fun going skating with Russell. He knows where a lot of rad spots are, and the coolest thing for me is just watching his skating and seeing how smooth his style is going. The girls are frisky and no frisco. A pretty little chick wherever you go. They'll fly and I'll fly Well, they're out there having fun In that warm California sun Well, they're out there having fun In that warm California sun Russell's definitely a strange kid. Sometimes I won't skate with him for a week or two, and then I'll, I'll call him up, and he'll be in the randomest of places. This one time I called him up to go skate, and he was moving down to, to Tijuana, Mexico with his girlfriend. I thought it was a pretty crazy idea, but that's Russell, you know? With skating, too, he just wants to skate some random little obstacle, or, you know, he just wants to try something new with everything in life, and so I guess Mexico is just something new for him, and, and he moved down there. <laughs> Mexico was really good. It wasn't as sketchy as I thought it was going to be, even though a lot of my friends from San Diego still wouldn't visit me. Sean came down a bunch, probably just for the cheap beer. It seems like everybody in Mexico is just trying to get to California, but I was doing the opposite. I moved to Mexico looking for a cheap apartment, and I found one on top of a hill in the hills of Tijuana. The hill was horrible to walk up, but it was a lot of fun going down. There was a lot of fun stuff to skate along the way, and it led me right into the center downtown. Skateboarding through the city isn't always fun. There's a lot of cracks and the sidewalks are all dirty. So a lot of times I'll just bike down to the city. Even though that can be tough too, there's a lot of crazy drivers in Mexico, but it's usually pretty quick. About five minutes away, there's a skate park with a lot of kids and people hanging out in the park. It's a good place to go. It's a really different type of spot. Living in Mexico and working in San Diego meant I had to commute across the border every day. And driving across the border is horrible because traffic will back up for hours. So taking the trolley works out better a lot of the time. And as long as there's somebody there to pick me up and take me the rest of the way to work, I can get there on time. Working at Pacific Drive is really fun. It's hardly work at all. 
It's usually just hanging out with my friends and watching girls walk down to the beach. At Pacific Drive, I work with a lot of my friends, and after work, I usually skate around PB. Sometimes me and Tyrone skate down to the boardwalk, which is really close to work. And the boardwalk, we can skate around the black ground and play skate. And there's always cute girls walking around, so it's a lot of fun. Beaches in San Diego are really crowded, but it's still fun to just roll around. If you go up the coast in California, there's some other good spots, but anytime I'm at the beach, it just reminds me of Hawaii and makes me wish I could just hop on a plane and head back to the islands. Sometimes I'll see a spot and be like, oh wow, that thing looks fun to skate. But I get up there and give it a go and it, it ends up being a really bad idea. It's cool to see skateboarders create their own spots, turning an abandoned lot into a homemade skate park. Rockets, moonshots, spending all we have not. Money, we made it. Always in your dream. You know, we make me want to holler the way that you're my line. Make me want to holler the way that you're my line. This ain't nothing, this ain't living. No, no, baby. This ain't nothing. No, 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 no. Inspiration. No chance to win grace, finance, bills, gone sky. Send that boy to die. You know, we think they want to holler, where to do my life. Me, I want to holler, where to do my life.
Over the past few years, the city and county also built a bunch of skate parks in Hawaii. There's about 12 on Oahu, and they're scattered all over the island. You can just pick one, meet up with your friends, go skate. It's a really laid-back vibe. There's so much hype going around down at the skate parks, it's fun to go there and try and pick up on the latest trends in skateboarding. Maybe get some hot new flair, or hopefully learn some new tricks. I don't know, I just try and have some fun with it. That's one of these kids who grew up at the skate parks. He learns tricks switch and regular until he's got them locked down. It's amazing to watch Matt skate. He'll focus on a trick and in a matter of no time he'll have it figured out and can land on almost every try. So when we go street skating, he gets busy with all these tricks that he's learned at the skate park. I used to drive a prime color pinto, sitting on doves. I know a 12-year-old brother, and he's sitting on nubs. His legs were shot out right from under his nose. Executed by his folks, or so he supposed. We got so much shit against us. One time pissed on us. Gangsters killing us, and truly oblivious. Turning on each other on a dime like lab racks. Experimented upon with horse coke and crack. Confused about respect on what block and which crew. Now tell me what the fuck is we supposed to do? Cause the answer's out there, we just can't find it ourselves We need each other's help, so I look to you because You know just what to do We need to reassess this shit, I'm telling you, I feel it in my gut I know we got a lot to live, and it's all about survival, bud This ain't living, this ain't living, this ain't living This ain't living, this ain't living, this ain't living, this ain't living This ain't living, this ain't living Skating with Matt gets me hyped to try and get tech on some rails. But I usually get broken off. Look how bad I cut my hand up. What is that? I'm gonna feel good in the morning. That one's gonna get broke off. After skating all day and falling down so much, I try to get as much sleep as possible. The phone's always ringing early in the morning, but I try and just sleep through that and let the answer machine pick it up. Eventually I'll wake up, check my phone, 
listen to my messages, and see what's going on out in the world. You have two unheard messages. First unheard message. Hey, yo, Sean, what's up? This is Anton. Um, Just calling to say what's up. It's 808 in Times Square, and I don't know, I thought of you kind of crazy. It's not that crazy, but whatever, just calling to see what's up. I've just been going to school out here in New York, and it's pretty cool. The dorms are a little bit gross sometimes, but other than that, it's not it's not so bad. I got my own little room and stuff. It's pretty cool over here. It's like being back at Leisure Dan. Dude, I just skate to school every day. Oh, dude, hey, what's up? How you been? Good, uh, hey, Ashley's tour is gonna be in New York in, like, three or four days. You should come and hang out, like, we should meet up. Like, come meet up with everybody. Yeah, dude, that, that'd be sick. What you been up to? You been skating? Uh, shoot, man, I, I haven't been skating. I, I've been, uh, doing, you know, like, music stuff, but, shoot, I miss the parks and just all the good street spots and good weather and whatnot, but I don't know, it's a good energy out there, you know? But I don't know, I don't really want to be thinking about like falling down or anything like that, getting hurt. <laughs> yeah, but sh- how's, what have you been up to? How's your music stuff? I don't know, it's pretty sick. It's like, it's 
it kind of feels like skating even, like, because it's just like yeah. this adventure, yeah. you're just going, <laughs> you know, like, you're just going and going for it, you don't even know why. <laughs> yeah, shit, I don't know, it's, it's weird, man, it's like, skating is, it's, it's, skateboard is a different instrument, you know, it's like you're a rock star. Oh, yeah, dude, yeah. oh, yeah. cool, <laughs> yeah. I miss it. <laughs> Yeah, dude, well, I kind of got to run because Sean's on the other line. Oh, sick, sick, right? All right, um, shoot, peace out, then, uh, talk to you in a couple days. Yeah, okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> sick, sick. Yo, Sean, Sean, sorry, um, I... Yeah, that was just Braxton talking to him, just like, I don't know, I just really wanted to go back to Hawaii, you know? I mean, I really like it here in New York and all, but every once in a while, something every day and then you just look at it differently all of a sudden and you're like hey what is that for you know a lot of times it's stupid it's not even that good or not even skatable you know but you just want to go and check it out and you're with all your good friends you know and you just that's what makes the difference i think to the airport, waited around for a while, had a drink. I jumped on a plane for what seemed like eight hours, hopped on a train for another two. It seemed like a lot of traveling, but it was nice to go to a different country for a little while. And with Mako there to help with the language barrier, I knew it'd be a fun skate trip. Our friend Lars from Hawaii was already out in Japan before we got there. He was super psyched to go skating. Lars had spent most of his time searching for places to go skate. 
What he found was Japan was filled with weird architecture that was perfect for skateboarding. The quarter pipe Lara showed us at the Wayno Park was super fun. There was just way too many people walking through, and eventually the cops came by and kicked us out. It was hard for me at first to understand what he was trying to tell us, but eventually I got the idea. So we decided to just keep walking throughout the park and check out all the randomness that was happening. After the Wayno Park, we said bye to Lars and decided to go check out some of the Japanese skate park. super fun, but after passing through Tokyo and seeing what a big city it was, I knew there'd be a lot of cool street spots out there. What we didn't expect to find was such a huge street music scene. It got us motivated to go skating through the night. It's also rad that you can drink anywhere and everywhere.
本に行ったことは僕にとってとても良い経験になった日本の文化とテクノロジーはハワイのものと全然違うからとても衝撃的だったもしかしたらここに住んでいたことを考えるととても興奮する電車でいろいろな場所へ行ったからたくさんの人と出会うことができた日本の海はハワイに比べて暗い雰囲気だった。ずっといる間台風の季節だった旅の最後は大雨が続いたけれど日本の人たちは気にもしないで通り過ぎていった。When we got back from Japan, the weather wasn't too different. It rains here in Hawaii too, but it usually clears up in a little while. Sean Payne's been back on the island. He's made a hobby of collecting other people's junk. He was in California for a little while doing the skate thing. I guess after a while, touring and all the contests, we just, just got over it, moved back home to Hawaii. Back home, he's still been skating, getting footage. How many tries did that take? That was the first try. Guy on the team, not on the team, I mean, getting more coverage than everybody else. A lot of people come out here to Hawaii on tour. And usually hook up with Sean to go skating. Yeah, I've known Sean for a really long time. We both went to Kukuk High School and graduated there. It's just nice to skate with Sean again. Back at the spot we all first started skating at. He's pretty good. He's my friend. He calls me.
Skateboarding is what we love to do. It's how we all met and became friends. Even though some of us have other things going on in our lives, which may have taken us away from Hawaii for a little while, everyone ends up coming back. It's Hawaii, it's paradise. And for us, it's the place that we call our home. In the middle of the Pacific Ocean, on a little island where we all start skateboarding.